Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy, and today I'm going to show you how to make this. This is a great and easy craft. We are going to make a glitter pen, and I'll even let you know where you can find all the supplies. And before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more of these kind of videos. So guys, your pens are going to come just like this, in this little plastic sleeve. We're going to take it out. Now this comes apart from both ends, so I start with the tip, I unscrew it, doesn't always come out that nice but everything but I take the barrel out the tip and then this part unscrews and I'll lose little pieces and there is a second spring that'll come out of that side and then the clicker part and all you have is your empty barrel which I did call the insert of the pen a barrel and that was wrong I just always want to call everything the barrel with this thing so that is what you're going to want to do to get your pen down to uh, the bare bottom so you can put some glitter on it. I went ahead and already prepped a bunch of pens. What I did was I just took them apart, I sanded them. I like to use my, my tumbler grip uh, add-on to paint them because I can paint multiple ones at the same time. So this is what I did yesterday. I had all my pens sitting in there. I, sanded and painted them and let them dry. I'm switching to my grip from the craft crate right now because I like, I'm a little messy. I like the handle. So I, I know that a lot of people use Mod Podge or epoxy on their pens. I love to use UV resin. I think it's a much strong, well, it's as strong I would say, or less strong than epoxy. It's strong. It's faster is what I really like to get at. I already painted this white with spray paint. We are going to coat it in some resin, which obviously I use a lot of it because I'm down to the bottom. Get out. And then I slide it down the sides and just make sure the whole thing's covered. Covered and covered evenly because unlike epoxy, this will not self-level itself. You will need to do all of that work yourself. I'm just making sure there's no globs on there. Sprinkle my glitter on. So this is the big difference between UV resin and Mod Podge because you won't need a second layer with this at all. Whereas Mod Podge, I almost always need a second uh, layer of glitter. Perfect. With epoxy, you also most likely would not have needed a second coat, but It'll take longer to cure and you have to mix epoxy, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Sometimes I don't mind, but most times I do. So I'm just going to take this little guy and sit him under my UV light. And I'm gonna let that cure for a few seconds. So I also did some of these pens yesterday, so I'm just gonna throw some UV resin on them. So this pen was already, it's not sealed at all. I just applied the UV resin, applied the glitter, and cured it underneath the light. So the top coat is not sealed. And I, so none of the glitter's flaking off, and that's one of my favorite parts of this. With Mod Podge, it definitely would have flaked off already. Epoxy, shouldn't have flaked off either but again you would have had to wait a lot longer for your pen to cure so we are just lightly moving the resin around making sure we're getting a nice even coat and thin coats remember thin coats this takes light to cure so you, you want light to hit all the layers that you have so if you do a really thick coat one it's going to take forever to cure and two it most likely will not cure correctly you might flash cure it, meaning you know only curing the outside layer, and then the inside is still kind of rubbery, which you would notice more if you were making a keychain or something flat, but still won't make your pen look great, and uh, or it won't cure at all. Some people will put the UV resin in a little medicine cup, and there's nothing wrong with that. I always skip any steps that make me do something else, so I just put it right on the pen, but some people have a hard time I guess you could say navigating the resin around the pen when you do that. Nothing wrong with putting in a little cup and just dipping your finger in there. 
or if you have a smaller bottle to transfer it to, that also works, just make sure it's a dark bottle or you might cure your resin inside the bottle. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw this under my light. If you have any UV resin on your body parts, your fingers, your hands, and that touches the light, you will know immediately because your hands will start getting very hot and start burning. So make sure you are resin clear when you have your hand near the light. I feel like a fly looking in the bug zapper. So pretty! So when your pens are all sealed, you are going to probably want to put something on them. I have here the Glitter Guys new pen, we're calling them pen wraps, but they're not really full wraps. So I have the curse word pens and the anxiety pens. Curse word pens are one per day, whereas the anxiety pens, there are five of them little quotes. So we're going to use the anxiety pens. The great thing about these pen packs is that we have lined the back with white, so you will not need to do anything else to make this show up. Let's just pick one, shall we? There we go, my anxiety has anxiety, that's pretty accurate. It doesn't really matter how much you trim it because the whole thing is printed on clear. See, it's got the white backing. So I'm just going to take this off. I want to do it this way. So I chose more of a darker base so I can show you guys just how well this shows up. So we are going to UV resin this one more time to get a nice top coat. Push it down a little, make sure my clear goes invisible. It is looking lovely. Stand up. These pen wraps, they take a lot of the work out of doing it because you will not have to either use printed vinyl yourself or water slide or cut them out of vinyl. I'm just going to layer some on there, get it all spread out nicely. Don't worry about the tops and the bottoms of your pen because we are going to clean those up. This is great because I had to make these anyway. I'm just using my dry fingers to make sure there's no excess where I don't want it right now. I would much rather do multiple small layers than have fear that it won't cure because I did too much at, at one time. So this pen got a little nubby on it. It accidentally hit the table and actually epoxied or resin to my table. I'm just gonna take my Dremel. I'm just sand it right off. This is just a little bit of alcohol in a spray bottle. Clean off all my debris. Just to show you guys if you had made some kind of mistake, how to get it off. So now that we have a beautiful top coat, I'm gonna slide this off. So I have all of this I guess you can definitely call it yuck on either side. And we're just gonna sand it right off. First, I'm gonna take my Zacto knife actually and cut some of it. A little bit of stuck inside. I'm just gonna take my Zacto knife and kind of cut it, cut it right out. 
one of the great things I love about UV resin is that I have not shown any signs of being allergic to it. However, I am highly allergic to most types of epoxy. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the top. All right, so to rebuild this, I like to start with the clicker end. So I take the big spring, well, I guess you could say the wider spring. The other one kind of stays on the pen refill itself. So I'm just gonna stick it in the top part where the clicker goes. You'll know which one that is because it's the smaller of the two holes. So my spring's in there and I'm just going to screw this in. And then the white part, the little clicker guy, goes in on the long part first. And then your pen. This screws in. This is a great easy craft that does not take long. It does not take a lot of material. It's easy and fun. You can get most of these materials right from the glitter guy. You can get the pens, the glitter, and the decals that we used today, and everything else we can list right below this video. Well guys, I hope that you loved our video and that you found it very helpful. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw today, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thank you.